Hi, this is Anna. I have a project to share with you today. A friend of mine asked me if I wanted to exchange junk journals with her, and I wasn't sure if I was going to have time, so in just what time I had available, I decided to put one together as a surprise for her and sent it off to her. Um, when I'm making this video, obviously, she hasn't received it yet since it's right here, um, but by the time I post this video, she will have received it. So anyway, I just thought I would put together a quick video uh, to share what I've made. Uh, so this is the cover. Her favorite winter bird um, is the black cap chickadee. So I used this paper from Can Company. It's a Christmas line from last year or the year before um, for the cover. And I used this cute little um, die and embosslet from Sizzix, which, which is the holly leaf, and just a little red button for my stash, and some hemp cord for the tie around the front. And I left this plain uh, pretty simple. I wanted her to actually be able to use it as a journal, and um, so it maybe as even like a Christmas organizer. So a lot of the pages in it are blank. There's lots of room for journaling and things like that. Uh, so this is the cover. Also, I used my Rubicoil to bind it. And this is a 14 millimeter um, coil. Um, on the inside is just more paper from that same k and Company line. And I created a pocket here. There's lots of little um, doodads, die cuts, and little tags for her to use for Christmas gifts or things like that. And um, just a little holly leaf there in the corner. And that stamp is from Penny Black. And it says, May this joyous season fill your home with love, your heart with hope, and our world with peace. And it is one of my favorites. Um, on the back side of that, I just left it open for either a photo or journaling, or she could paper clip a little list in here. And this Jingle Bell stamp is from Stampendous. Um, on this little flap here, I just added this little vintage image that I printed um, using a uh, paper clip. And then it's just this little holiday, Happy Holidays flap here. And then this little holly embellishment I created using the uh, Martha Stewart holly leaf punch. And I used my tracing wheel to create the faux stitching and then just added a little button and some hemp twine. And then here are some uh, notepad pages for listing. And I just used this cute little Amuse snowband stamp to decorate the page. And there's uh, four or five pages in each one of these little sections here. Uh, here's just a little divider I had in my stash that was punched with some trees, so I stuck that in there. And then just this cute holly paper. I think this is maybe from Melissa Francis, this paper here. And then this is some um, nice linen paper, and I just stamped it down here with this little deer. And it's not lined or anything, but I just thought it would be cute just if she had some lists or um, pictures she wanted to he um, put on here, or if she had some little sketches she wanted to make. And again, this section is a couple three or four pages long as well. This piece right here is two two pieces of paper adhered together. This is from um, American Crafts last year from the Kringle & Co line and it's just this little Dear Santa shopping list and I actually created a pocket here um, with the two sides that are adhered together. I left the top open and I uh, punched out this little um, par partial circle so she could actually get the tags in and out. And then these are just two more cuts from that same sheet of paper. Um, here's another section for notes. And this one I used the Sweet Holiday Wishes stamp from Amuse. And again, that's four or five pages. Uh, here's just a quick little divider of pattern paper. And I used the edge punch here, the scalloped, open scalloped edge punch. And some more blank paper for sketching or whatever. And another one of those uh, American Crafts cuts from that same Kringle & Co line. And this is just a little postcard style um, sheet here. And then I created another pocket. And this paper is actually red um, sparkle. You can kind of see it in the camera. Um, and then I just tucked inside the pocket a couple of little vintage cuts from Crafty Secrets, some die cuts again from Sizzix and My Favorite Things maybe, and uh, a couple other tags that she can use, and I just used a little snowflake charm there. And the back side I left open. This is a dollar stamp, jingle, jingle, jingle. I left open here for a photo, or she could again paper clip, uh, paper clip other lists here. And then here's some more um, lined paper, and it says, I love frosty nights, snowy days, and warm hearts. And that's an old, um, what, what company was that? I can't remember if that was from Amuse or from a different company. 
I can't remember offhand, but cute little stamp. Elsie Bells, maybe. Maybe from Elsie Bells. And then I used this printable image here and just tucked that in here. I thought that was really pretty. And more of that um, Melissa Francis paper. And more um, blank uh, cardstock there, linen cardstock. And another one of those cuts from American Crafts. And more lined paper. And again, I just wanted this to be a usable journal for her, so I left lots of space for her to fill in. And another blank divider here, and again I used that same edge punch to decorate the edge. And more lined paper, and this one says Holiday Wishes. And lots of room for a listing. And then this is another cute little cut here from that same American Crafts, and it just has all the reindeer listed across the side. I stuck that in there and more holiday wishes and again more lined paper for listing and then I created a side pocket and in here I stuck um, more vintage Im images that I've printed and a little glassine envelope for storing extra goodies and doodads and then this little brad here is a Studio G from I don't know, Walmart or Joann's maybe uh, from a couple of years ago and then just created this side pocket using cardstock and this really old paper clip I found in my stash right here. I thought that would be cute. Tied up, or um, slipped on the top here. Just holding a couple more Crafty Secret images printed out here. And these actually open up too, so she could do some journaling there, or she could use the back side if she wanted. And then there's that one as well, little birds. And then I created this little flip here. We're using another printed vintage image. And again, the same holly button leaves there to create the little embellishment on the tab. And some lines on the back for writing. And then this is a cute little amuse girl. And she's just stamped on this plain paper here. This is that nice linen paper again. And another pocket here. And this is again that shimmery red paper. And uh, just a couple of tags that she can use. A few of the tags I left blank, a few of them I actually stamped on. This one says, do not open till Christmas. And then she could actually embellish it further if she'd like. And then this cute little printable Cupie image that I have. And the back is open again for whatever she might want to attach. And then some more lined sheets here with the cute little Amuse Bird. And then a little Happy Holidays divider. And then we've got Santa up here on some um, blank cardstock. And then in this back pocket, we've got Santa, which is another Crafty Secrets cut. And I just slipped that in there. And then another glassine envelope with uh, die cuts for tags. And then I also stamped the top here um, on all the pockets, actually. Just another uh, stamped image up there just to decorate it a little bit. And the back pocket is this um, horizontal, is that horizontal? Diagonal fold, I guess. And then inside I just tucked in one of my own whippersnapper stamped images. It says, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And again, it's stamped on that um, red shimmery paper. And I just tucked that in there. And then this is the little envelope that I adhered to the back cover, uh, which has this little chicken tea dyed tag, handmade by um, Anna White, which is me. And I just stuck that in there and embellished the tag with my little holly and button um, embellishment. And then the back cover, um, which is the other half of the paper that, which is on the front, um, the back cover has two little birds. So the branch continues on to the front then with three little birds and two little birds. So. And that's it. And so I hope she really enjoys it. I think she will. It was really fun to make. I haven't made one of these for a really long time. So this was actually really fun. It got me in the mood to actually make more. So um, anyway, hope you like this and maybe it'll give you some ideas. There's all kinds of videos on YouTube. If you just uh, search for junk journal or mini, mini journal, you'll find all different kinds of videos with tutorials on how to bind them, how to put them together, what kinds of things to use and do. And it's just lots of fun. So Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll talk again soon.